this is the bubbly yeast experiment. So we're looking at the action of decarboxylase enzymes in this experiment and the organism that we're going to use that has decarboxylase enzymes eek, is, and I can get any out, is, turn the volume down. That was Natasha's music. <laughs> <laughs> Big shout out for Natasha. <laughs> it's yeast. So, I'm going to pop the yeast into um, the beaker and the reason that we're doing that is we're going to give it a substrate to act on and we're going to use sucrose solution. Oh, why is syringe so hard to use? I don't think I'm made for people with arthritis. <coughs> oh, yeah. And then the experiment itself is reasonably simple from there on. So we've got a syringe, big syringe, with a weight on the bottom. Now the key to success with this is that you've got to keep the nozzle at the top so that the gas bubbles out and not the yeast. So you just literally need to suck that suck the yeast solution up. You need to suck a bit more air into it. So that when you lie it horizontally and the weight holds it down, the nozzle's at the top. Well, I'm going to put it somewhere where the camera can't see it. Put it into hot water. Ah! Oh, it's not that hot. So my water is at. They can't see the temperature, I've got my glasses on. Oh, about. 45 degrees centigrade. Aisha. And now on video. And um, what we're waiting for here is um, we're going to leave it a couple of minutes just to equilibrate. So what equilibration means is that everything gets to the same temperature. So all the equipment, all of the yeast cells, and when they're equilibrated, that means that the yeast cells will be bubbling at a constant rate. So the bubbles will be coming out at a fairly constant rate. So that we know that it's not expansion of gases uh, or anything else that's affecting it, just the temperature. When the yeast is bubbling at a constant rate, we're just going to use one of these. Yes, no, yeah. And as we click it, it'll count the bubbles for us. So every time I see a bubble, I just click that. And we're going to do that at five different temperatures, only my life's too short.